Welcome to the sixth annual GPCA Forum here in Dubai. I'm talking now to Jamal Malaika, President and Chief Operating Officer of NAPPET. The theme of this year's event is the move downstream. Could you explain why that's important to producers here and what um, business opportunities that holds for your company? Well, as you, I, you can see and note uh, that um, in Saudi Arabia in particular, there is a big drive for going downstream. There are national objectives behind that. Um, the government is very keen to push the uh, country to go to, into a downstream, basically utilizing the feedstock that is available in millions of tons, as you know, of various petrochemicals. The objectives are basically to add value and to help have more employment, which is very critical, as you might imagine, um, and also to transfer technology. Basically, these are the major objectives. Now, also, I think this is a natural step forward. I mean, you do you start with the primary industry, and then you go into downstream. This, in my opinion, would, should have been done a long time ago in Saudi Arabia. In fact, I think we are late, and this is a good time, as any, to start going into downstream to meet these objectives. Now, for us as a company, we, although we just uh, started commercial operation in August 2010, nonetheless, we signed an agreement with a British company, Loan Bonner, to have our first downstream uh, business utilizing our polypropylene uh, products to produce geotextiles, which is massively used in civil and construction uh, sector. And um, we are all just, you know, almost less than two years of commercial operation, and we've started with that uh, important step forward in the downstream. We are also thinking of other projects. Uh, we are in the planning stage and negotiation stage uh, with potential foreign partners. So we are very serious on the downstream business. Do you have any plans to expand outside of polypropylene? No, we are basically polypropylene. And we are focusing on our uh, products that we can utilize it to add more value and have more employment, as I just said. And what target markets are you focusing on? Obviously, uh, Saudi Arabia, in terms of population and uh, demand, uh, is not big. So most of the downstream industries would focus their business uh, towards export. Um, of course, the, the, the local demand is growing. That is a fact. Uh, but still, it is a small market in Saudi Arabia or the GCC. So we have to go into export. That's, that's a must. Now We have to use all these advantages that we have, that we are an upstream and a downstream company at the same time. That is hopefully is an advantage. Um, and uh, the other important you know, advantages uh, about logistics, for example, if we export into Asia, there is an advantage, of course. In fact, I always say Saudi Arabia is in the middle where logistics-wise it is kind of attractive mm -hmm. to export, right. although to Europe is more expensive, definitely. But to Asia, it is today, logistics-wise, is an advantage. GPCA has been making a big effort on advocacy recently. Have you as a polypropylene producer experienced any specific issues on trade? Well, this is a tough question. Uh, I mean, today we're facing uh, uh, some anti-dumping, unfair as uh, I can tell you, and we all know that it's unfair from certain countries, I would not name here. Um, it is not easy. And these countries are using uh, certain ways to levy those taxes. Uh, we believe it is unfair. Um, I have to say it's very difficult. Uh, but hopefully soon we will see some progress on a country basis, right. not as just petrochemicals, but as a country, from a country point of view and a government point of view. And we hope the other countries, you know, uh, see that coming. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much.